All right, response video to Grey Text. I think I'll just speed this up. You know, I'll edit it and speed it up because this is just stupid. <laughs> yeah, what a waste of time. Why does he do this shit? Seriously. Why? Does he just need to fight? Is that it? He just needs to fight. You know, even if he's just the universe, you know, this is it. This is all it is. No suffering or shit. Yeah, what's suffering? You see suffering? Oh, so it's only about the suffering you can see. Is that your argument? Well, of course, you know what? You just scrape the sand and you'll find a bunch of shrimp and other animals that are living in there, you know, eating, eking out their existence, feeding on other living things. And then you go a little bit into that water and there's fish and all crabs and all kinds of animals eating each other in there, assholes. So yeah, there's lots and lots of suffering. But morons like you just, I guess, don't have the brain capacity to uh, understand. Still, Sometimes like, you don't see it. The war. You know, he'd fight the sun. He'd fight the sky. He'd be like, I have to fight these things because uh, the dumb forces and... Right. So your argument is the intelligent thing to do is to sit in your lawn chair and just let the DNA molecule run the world. Because we shouldn't apply our brains. I mean, that would be a silly thing to do with a brain. Brains are made to look at the little sky and go, ooh, that's what brains are for. Brains aren't for analyzing and figuring out what it's made out of and saying, oh, and, and, and even figuring out the thing that, oh, yeah, that's right, we're made, we've been designed to be pleased by certain things, and that that's just another contrivance of the DNA agenda. But no, we should just obey it, be obedient to the Borg DNA. My cheese. I'm cheating my cheese. I need to fight the things with the fuck tires. So <laughs> yeah, right. Great paraphrase. So that's your that's that's the honest man's paraphrase. Is that you're going to be your argument that everybody's mistreated your um, silly phantasmagorical bullshit, your Drake equation crapola. Uh, but you know you're completely fair in how you paraphrase other people's philosophy. And yeah, I'm just fighting it for the sake of fighting it because yeah, it's, what you know, puts dollar bills in my pocket. Yeah, fuck you. All right, wait. I think I got a mail message from somebody, uh, some fucking very bored person who will say to me. How are you going to respond to what Amendum just said about you? <coughs> said to himself, oh, well, gee, gee, we don't all get those stupid little PMs, and gee, it's just so hard to ignore them, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's just really hard to ignore them. It's like, look at what Amendum said, and I'm going to make a response where I call him a fucktard or something. And I usually just say to myself, well, I'm not going to give that person what they want, I'm not going to give Amendum what he wants. Uh, oh, so. oh, that's right, I wanted something. I made a 90 second joke video where I called everybody in the video a fucktard. And yet you're going to sit there and turn it into something else, some sort of philosophical statement? No, it's a joke, asshole. Too bad you can't point your camera at a joke and say, and make a joke about how you can't get a joke, asshole. Things I just think, oh, fuck it, you know. Um, and I don't look at what you've done. You know, you call me a super big fat fuck dog. You know, your little fi <laughs> vicarious minions. Uh, your little minions are, are, are too. Oh, what? You think I did it for them? No, I did it for myself. I saw your little icon, and I saw you made a little stupid video, and I made my little stupid crack at you, just like you make 5,000 snarky comments on videos since you've been on YouTube. That's, you're the king of snarky little shit, useless crap, distraction crap comments. You're a fucking troll, okay? And you'll talk about my hypocrisy, your little fat, chubby little cheeks. You're, 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 it's like a chipmunk. you got so much fucking goddamn hypocrisy stored in those little cheeks. We need to fucking be like you. Um, to take it away at it. <laughs> you call that guy a super big fat fuck dog. <laughs> Really cutting edge, insightful. Right, 90 second joke video. Really? What? what you really? You're going to ignore all the video sub -sub -sub substance, and you're just going to sit there and focus on the joke video, where you weren't the star of the video, asshole. Cutting edge. It really is. Uh, yeah. That's it. You know, we don't need science anymore. We'll just see who can uh, fuck the other. Oh, uh, yeah, right. <clears throat> so that's another honest paraphrase. You're going to paraphrase my videos, my presence on YouTube, where I just spend all my time saying you're a big fat fucktard. That's the extent of it, right? That's, a, that's again, a fair paraphrase of my videos. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, I remember you got yours suspended, and then you sat there and whined about it and talked about how well you lost all the seagull videos and this and that and da, 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 da. Yeah, so, but yeah. I was stupid enough to think that yeah, it was worth being a little sympathetic, but fuck that. Fuck you. Oh, no, you, you do what you usually do. You do something you know YouTube doesn't like. Right, I have the same icon on my channel for a fucking year. A fucking year the icon is on the channel. YouTube has never, as far as I've ever heard, given anybody a strike on their account for an image violation. Okay, that's their change in policy. Okay, so I didn't do anything, asshole. They changed their policy. They didn't tell anybody they changed their policy. They just changed their policy. You can't even get the fucking facts straight, you dumb fuck. Pictures of your fucking arse uh, on your channel. Yeah, well, the original image was uh, an image of, uh, of me, you know, in a glow in the darky kind of thing. Okay, no ass, no penis, no nothing. Just a nice image, right? Uh, artistic image. And that was flagged off the channel. Okay, that was the original icon. So what the fuck, Grey Tex? Um, you know, I mean, my fucking nieces watch YouTube. My nieces see your arse. My nieces see your Oh, now you're going to make some kind of idiotic argument that somehow your nieces, if they're watching YouTube, aren't going to see a lot fucking worse than that? Uh, especially on the, why don't they just go to the YouTube homepage and they're going to see worse than that and you goddamn know it. You know they're going to see the word blowjob and they're going to see bananas in people's mouth. They're going to see all kinds of fucking shit right on that fucking homepage. And so you're going to use this bogus little fucking jackass argument and that's what it is. It's a jackass argument. If you don't want your nieces to see something then why aren't you out protesting all the other crap that's on YouTube? Fucking asshole. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, you know YouTube's policies, you know they don't like that shit. It's a part of me says it's a part of you. Uh, that just wants to have these fights. Okay, fine. Again, like I said, your account gets suspended if somebody flags your videos off, then everybody should just say tough shit, great text. Fine. Okay, if those are the rules you want to play by, fine. Those aren't rules I'm going to play by. That's not the way, that's not the attitude I'm going to take. So yeah, you want to be a fucking, you want to have the corporate dick up your ass? That's your fucking business, fucktard. It's not my business. So you fucking go to them. If you're so proud, you're going to say, 
Like, what do you do? Fuck you over the rest. <laughs> you find the same yeah, right. That's why the icon was the same icon for a fucking year. Right? They didn't flag, you dumbass, okay? The first fucking strike, they didn't flag the background image. They flagged the fucking icon, you dumbass. You know, having another fight against YouTube or something, or suing them or some shit. You know, oh my gosh, for $50, it's for justice. Oh, fucking delusional shit, you should pick yourself to Oh, yeah, what? <laughs> whatever. So anybody who fights for a cause is delusional shit, because everybody should be like a great text and sit there and wear their shades at the beach, and they're going to solve some problems that way, and make useless videos that are completely ignorable, and only people that watch them are fucking little haters of other people, right? And that's like, who else watches your stupid, lame, jackass, stupid videos, but a bunch of fucking loser, phantasmagorical assholes who think fucking unicorns run the fucking universe? Um, I might take out $50 and, and uh, you know, spend it on someone who's fucking suffering. Uh, yeah, but don't solve a problem. Don't fix a problem. That would be a stupid way to spend money. So when I spent money to fight against cigarette taxation, that was, that was a stupid thing to do. Or when I spent my money to fight for public access television, that was a waste of money. When I fought my local government for breaking the law and not providing public access to documents, that was a waste of money. All these causes are a waste of effort. Nobody should try to fix or reform the social system we live in. Now we should all sit back and just take it like an asshole. Well, fuck you. You do it your way, I'm going to do it my way, you dumb ass. I might not do that, you know, or it's not just people's guilt for you. You know, you're trying to save the world here, not one person at a time. You're, you're, you're masked, you're beaten. You know, fuck, well, this is my view, by the way. Okay. Okay. Yeah, too bad I ain't deep enough to, you know, whatever. Never mind. Stop. Explain it, click face. Um, you, you, well, yeah, you're a fucking, you're a fucking puckered asshole face. Uh, whatever, I don't love censorship. I'm not the one, it's not my responsibility. Do I have a responsibility to sit there and provide rights to people? No, I'm exercising my fucking rights. I'm on a soapbox and I'm saying other little jackasses can't stand in front of my soapbox with a megaphone and they can't write shit on my soapbox and they can't do all that shit. When they're on their soapbox, they can do whatever the fuck they want. I don't have any rights then. That's the way it works. That's the fair way it works. But it doesn't work if we're sabotaging each other's fucking soapbox. That's bullshit. No one's gonna vote for that asshole. Okay, uh, and I'm saying this for all the fucking people who are blocked from commenting on your videos, Gary. You love censorship. As soon as somebody says something you don't like, you block them. Uh, yeah, I block them for not extending me the same courtesy I extend everybody else. So when I, you can call me hypocrite the day I do what you do, which is comment snarky little crap, irrelevant bullshit on other people's videos. Create arguments that have nothing to do with the content of the video. Because you're a fucking trolly asshole. Alright, so you want to play YouTube that way? That's your fucking business. I'm not playing it that way. I'm not shitting anybody else's lawn. If they shit in my fucking lawn, I'm gonna kick him the fucking ass. The fucking end. It is not my responsibility to provide the, the rights, okay? It is the platform's responsibility. If I was called the public library, I would have different fucking rules. If my channel was called the public voice, I'd, have, I'd be under different rules, but it's not. I'm not the one advertising broadcast yourself. I don't put that in emails where I suspend people's fucking accounts. I'm not doing that. YouTube's doing that, you dumb ass. You can't tell the fucking difference and you're a fucking goddamn idiot. Okay, as soon as you do something to your channel that YouTube, who owns your channel, doesn't like, they block you. That's it. Again, it doesn't say, we own your channel. It says, broadcast yourself. That's what it says. That's what it says in the fucking email. They've taken it off their website again, uh, I guess for those obvious reasons that it's not consistent with their policy anymore. Okay, it's not consistent with what YouTube is. Why even call it YouTube, right? Because it has nothing to do with the U part anymore. It's them tube. It's, it's Google tube, right? It's corporation tube. So it's already it's misadvertised when they call it YouTube. It has nothing to do with the U anymore. You don't, you can't figure that part out, you dumb motherfucking shithead. You cement brained moron. It's like a fairly consistent thing. Microcosm equals microcosm. They own the website. People are doing things on their website. They don't <clears throat> yeah, and it's happened in other industries. Like I say, the, 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 the networks owned television, but then we put a law in place that said they had an obligation in the public interest to do certain fucking things. And then cable television came along, and there were so many channels that said, okay, we don't need the rules anymore. And what the fuck happened? Every channel turned into, they put in twice as many commercials. Every channel turned into the same fucking crap. Okay, but they now had no obligations anymore. But the point is, is that you change these things with laws. Laws change how the world fucking goddamn works. The simple truth is that YouTube is now a platform. The world, the internet changed the world. You don't get that fucking fact. You don't get that the fucking soapbox has now moved from the public square to the goddamn internet. You haven't figured that fucking part out. And there has to be certain kind of rights about who's accessible on that fucking medium. You can't figure out that there's a correlation between those two things, that you no longer have a First Amendment if you don't have a First Amendment on the internet, you dumb fucking shit. Therefore, they remove that person, okay? You have your channel. People are doing things on your channel you don't like. You remove their ability to broadcast onto your fucking channel. Exactly, because my soapbox is my soapbox. Nobody, when they're on their soapbox on in the square on Washington, D.C., sits there and says, okay, all the opposition guys come up on the soapbox and talk at the same time I'm talking, or make goofy faces while I'm talking. Put on your bozo, the clown suit, and jump up and down in front of me in your clown suit while I'm talking, okay? Nobody does that, you asshole. Again, I'm not obligated to provide rights. I'm not called YouTube. I'm not selling a platform, all right, asshole? I'm exercising my free speech fucking rights, you dumb motherfucking prick, and that doesn't involve any obligation to a bunch of trolls and assholes who can't even manage the minor courtesy, okay, of keeping their motherfucking prick mouth shut if they have nothing decent to say. Again, I don't go on other people's channel and talk shit on their video. I don't sit there and make messes in their fucking yard, so I expect the same fucking respect, you dumb fucking cunt. Okay, that's what's called, Gary. That's what's called consistency, okay? Now, for you to complain... Yeah, well, why doesn't somebody just play your old video where you're whining about getting your account suspended, okay? And then we'll call that, oh, yeah, well, that's, you know what that's called? Great text inconsistency. It's called hypocrisy, you dumb fucking cunt. Uh, YouTube, loving censorship, else you yourself love it. That's what's called hypocrisy. Again, you can't see the difference. You're really too stupid to see the difference between the having an orderly public square where you're not, you just don't have all to any kind of rights. You have to earn the right to speak, okay? You sit there and you go through a procedure, a system, an obligation. You have to be responsible. You can't just do it any way you want. You can't just paint your graffiti anywhere you fucking want to, you dumb ass. And you can't think, you can't figure out that that's how, the, how a sensible, rational world works? Then you're really fucking dumb. Okay, and then comes your bullshit rationalization for your shitty behavior, which I'm not even going to entertain because you're far more experienced. You've got 50 years experience of bullshit rationalizations for your shitty behavior. And I'm not interested in listening to them or trying to recruit them. Uh, yes, you're not
The simple fact of the matter is, you're just a little asshole chasing your own cheese. Okay, whilst complaining about other people chasing their cheese. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, right. I'm sitting there making videos, long videos, that anybody could sit there and take a reasonable shot at. They could take a fair shot at. Okay, they could play the video and refute the video, but do they do that? No, they do what you fucking do, you little petty fat weasel. You sit there and take your, your selective paraphrase of blah, 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 and that you say, oh, no, that's a fair argument. I just, I just accurately paraphrased you. Blah, 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 blah. Fuck you. Um, that's fair. I mean, I'm going to go back my data. It's, it's, you don't, you're being spaced with, sir. Fucking Yeah, what is this? S-R-S-B-S-ness. Ha ha ha, whatever that is. So what, you're going to get the S&F award for being a jackass? Fine, you won it. Bravo, prickhead. How much you spend for those glasses? You want to have a frugal life uh, competition? I'll go for that. Uh, I'm going to kick your ass there, too, you know? Um, but whatever. I mean, just fuck you. So go ahead. Make one of your Drake equation videos. Make another video about your, your bullshit, the bullshit in your fucking goddamn crackpot, insane, jackass philosophy of lounge chair. Solve the world with you from your lounge chair, you lazy bastard. And I'll fucking pwn your ass again and again and again. Because you're a stupid jackass and a petty fucking weasel to boot. Fuck you. There. The end. Oh, yeah, that's all there is. Thank you very much. Until next time.